Hi, I'm in the dumpster room again. Someone's got a whole bunch of new monitors. Decide to look over here. Ta-da! Look at this. It's the mother load of HPs. I've got a few of these. I'm running one of these at home. I haven't looked at any details, but they're all uh, Core i5. Two, four, six of them. Um, <laughs> somebody has uh, dumped a lot and they've re... I get, get, they've upgraded, so they've just jumped, dumped the whole half a dozen business machines. I'm going to take these back while I can. I think I'll need to go get the trolley, although there is a shopping trolley. I might use that. Check this out. What a dumpster score. Look at this. We've got six HP small form factor PCs. I love these things. We've got three uh, HP Pro 4300s and three HP Pro 6300s. You can tell the 6300s have like silver stripe on them. Apart from that, they look identical on the front. And I love these small form factor machines, particularly the HP ones. They're quite uh, quiet in operation. Uh, the expandability inside is quite nice. And I actually use one of these 4300s at home, a previous dumpster find. This is probably the fourth time maybe I've found uh, these HP small form factor PCs in the dumpster, but I never found six of them at once. So I use an i7, one of these 4300s at home. The 6300s are better. Again, I combine it with a uh, low profile uh, GTX 1030 uh, graphics card, and they're an absolutely fantastic machine. So let's take a look at these. And yes, I really do find these in the dumpster room. And it's not uncommon because if you look at a uh, office, corporate office tower that I'm in, in fact, the dumpster room I've got serves several uh, office towers around here. And uh, just in the my old lab, for example, 50 square meters, you can easily have five or six employees in there and they each need a machine. And these are like 2000 and uh, 13 vintage, uh, 2012, 2013, something like that. So they're a good, you know, seven years old, something like that. And of course they've gotten to the end of the life and the companies just uh, refresh the PCs. So they just dump them all out. And the odds of these working almost like, you know, probably 99% if we actually go power these up, I'm sure because they're all tossed out at once, they'll likely all work in as part of a replacement program. The company's just you know, got a budget uh, for new PCs. These have all been written off on tax and they just dump them. And my success rate with these small form factor PCs, 100%. In fact, most dumpster dive PCs I get are fully working. I think I've only had one PC fail from the dumpster. And by the way, I haven't done a dumpster dive in uh, PC on the main video on the main channel for a while because most of my dumpster diving stuff I just dump onto the second channel, EV Log 2. So click, I don't know, somewhere up there. Um, and subscribe to my second channel where I put a whole bunch of stuff. I've got about 77,000 subs on the second channel at the moment. Let's get it to 100,000. I'll get one of those YouTube fancy newfangled silver award things for the second channel. I put a ton of stuff on the second channel, if you're not aware. Some, it was originally just like uh, single take um, just, you know, secondary content and stuff like that. But I've been, uh, for a lot of time now, been putting up edited content on there as well, which I didn't think was kind of main channel worthy. I've even put debunkings over there. Definitely a lot of uh, dumpster stuff over there. Unfortunately, dumpster stuff only, and people say, want to find more dumpster diving videos. I, I'm not in charge of who throws out the dumpster stuff. I did a dumpster PC video last week. It's gotten like 90,000 views or something. Crazy. So go check that out on the second channel, EV Log 2. Anyway, let's take a look at these babies. Oh, six of them. Fantastic. These are probably worth, if they're working, which I'm sure they are, uh, probably a couple hundred bucks on eBay each. So this is like finding over a thousand bucks cash in the dumpster room, really, if you want to. Of course, if you go to the effort to sell them on eBay, it takes time, of course, if you don't value your time to actually check each one and sort of clean them up and dust them up and all that sort of stuff, make sure they're working, and then you've got the hassle of selling them on eBay, then you've got the fees. But anyway, it, <laughs> it's a great score. Let's check them out. So these are the 4300 model. This is the uh, more upmarket 6300 model. And these came out at the same time, I believe. And they're basically uh, the same family. They support the uh, third generation Intel uh, Core i5 and i7 uh, processors. These ones are all i5 machines. They've all got an i5 sticker on the top. So I assume that they haven't been uh, upgraded in any way. But there's um, several differences. But the reason I love this, as I said, they're reasonably quiet. They haven't actually sitting right 
right next to me on the uh, desk at home and it's really uh, quite nice. Now the 4300, I love how actually all of them, uh, both of them have uh, serial ports, old school uh, D9 serial ports on them, still very handy today. They've all still got the old school uh, PS2 keyboard and mouse and they've got audio on uh, front and back as well and they've all got gigabit uh, ethernet and they've both got uh, integrated video as well. The 4300s have a DVI and the uh, 6300s have a display port. But the 6300s, I like these better. I might have to swap it at home, actually, because uh, these have four USB 3 ports on them uh, as opposed to all USB 2s on the uh, 4300. And they've got four expansion slots on them, low profile, of course, and this uh, flippy retention thing. Somebody's had a go at this. Um, <laughs> it was sitting out, so normally that's flipped on the inside and three of them have video cards check it out they won't be great video cards they're not going to be the latest gtx series they're going to be like six seven year old video cards or whatever so yeah don't expect anything fancy but nice so let's have a look inside both the 4300 and the 6300 uh, have these stickers which curious like uh, Windows Pro 8 I guess it well it didn't come with that um because only I think one of them or well, yeah, only one of them has a uh, Windows, um, like a uh, certificate of authenticity uh, on it. But it says actually uh, Win 8 Pro downgraded to Win 7 Pro. So I don't know what the deal is there. If anyone knows... Please let us know. Did I guess they can, when you order it on the website, people went, the customer who bought these went, oh, I did hate that Windows 8 crap. Can we please have Windows 7? So they went, okay, we'll downgrade it for you to Windows 7. And I don't blame them because, yeah, who the hell used Windows 8? God, you either jump from when <laughs> you either use Windows 7 or you jump straight to Windows 10. All right, let's whip these off. The uh, 6300 comes with a nice handle like that that looks pretty clean doesn't it? i won't expect to find uh, hard drives in any of these in fact that one's got memory so that's nice um a lot of the time people steal the memory although as the years have gone by less and less i found oh come on there we go that's not as nice anyway ta-da we're in like flynn as you can see um they're all like essentially uh the same form factor but the architecture oh that's flapping around in the breeze that just fell out of the back there supposed to have a VGA but the 6300 uh, has a better uh, chipset in it I believe which has like more network management capabilities and all that it's more of a professional level business machine than the 4300 from a networking IT uh, you know maintenance point of view and all that uh, sort of jazz and it's got uh, four SATA ports in it this one 4300's only got two SATA ports and we've got four memory slots, only got two over here. So significant difference there, but, uh, and a bit of a difference in terms of uh, slots. Not sure if you could see that, but uh, the 4300 has two PCI, it's an old school PCI. One PCI uh, times four down there and one PCI times 16. The 6300, one PCI, one uh, times 16 and two uh, times four in there. And I believe they've been stripped of their hard drives. And I love these. They just pop up like that. Brilliant. So, yeah, um, of course, uh, IT or whoever has gone through and stripped the hard drives out on that sort of uh, standard company policy. I almost never find hard drives. I have on a couple of occasions found uh, hard drives in there. And the processor and thermal arrangement basically are the same for both. And although the 6300 has the big uh, heat copper heat pipes on the outside here don't seem to have that on the uh 4300 i just like that the uh the vents on the front the fans there it's all integrated like you know it's a it's a nice thermal solution as i said they run uh fairly silent as well you know quite difficult to hear even when i'm doing like video rendering at home and stuff which i still i can do occasionally um yeah it, they really uh are pretty silent and i love the latches on these things no screws to muck around with that's great so we can get that card out there. That looks like, and don't get don't get excited or passively cool. Big ass heatsink on that. Of course, you can't put in the card next to it. But uh, yeah, it's probably one of the low end GTX jobbies, like a you know a 310 or something. What is it? No, it's a 610 GT 610. <laughs> it's still not terrific though, by modern standards.
But hey, that's better than a kick in the nuts, let me tell you. So with this base unit, we can potentially run five displays, uh, VGA and DisplayPort on the integrated uh, graphics. I believe it's uh, HD 4000 graphics, which is, you know, fairly decent. It's got all the uh, acceleration, whatchamacallits, and uh, we've got DVI, HDMI, and VGA out here. So, like, for a little small form factor PC, free in the dumpster. <laughs> Beautiful. And for all you power supply aficionados, I think that's a 240 watt model. And, you know, they're reasonably efficient. Decent little power supplies in them. Right, so let's power up the uh, 6300. Let's go for broke here. Well, that's a bit how you're doing. I didn't put that in. There we go. Bobby Dazzler. Like I bought one. Okay, let's power it up. As I said, uh, these support the uh, Gen 3 i5 and i7. As I said, they've all got the core i5 sticker on them. And I can barely hear that. I'm sure you can't even hear that at all. I have to stop talking to hear that. And gonna get anything? No. Nah. Turn straight off. No? There we go. It's back on. Oh, do I turn the monitor on? Oh, we're in. There we go. Yeah, I uh, replugged the VGA into the uh, video card instead of the integrated graphics. It must have automatically uh, changed over. So memory size error. Dolt. Another neat thing I like about these is that the power supply whips up like that, and you can put extra hard drives under there. No wackers. For some reason, the F1 to boot doesn't work. Hmm. Oh, I opened up another one, and ah, oh, this is a shocker. Look at the dust inside here. Oh, I, I'm not going to blow that. I'm going to take that outside and get the uh, can of air duster, and wow. But it does boot. Anyway. Different graphics card. That looks pretty piss weak. Ugh, that's terrible, Muriel. Aha, one of the 6300s has its memory gutted. Ah, oh, well. That's it's surprising, actually, considering the others weren't. And the first 4300 machine I powered up, a little bit wimpy. It's an i5-3470S at 2.9 gig. Only got a lousy 4 gig of RAM. Ah, oh, ripped off. And press escape to get into the boot menu. Ah, oh, it's only got an i5, well, I expected i5, but it's a 3470S CPU, 2.9 gig. It's okay, you know, it's, it's average um, for a, like a third gen i5. And I took out some of the RAM, so I only got 8 gig, but I got two extra sticks, which I can whack into another machine, which has no memory. So, beauty, 8 is plenty for an older machine like this. By the way, I like all the uh, BIOS stuff with the HP machines. Uh, press escape when you boot up. You get, you can run diagnostics and all sort of stuff. Of course, you can get into your regular uh, setup utility like this. And there's your integrated video, so there we have to accept that. So we can turn on our... Aha, uh -huh, that super dusty machine's a bit better. It's a, once again, it's a 3470, but it's not the 3470S. So that's at, uh, and it's at the faster 3.2 gig. So, yeah, that's more powerful. That's getting there. And another 3470 at 3.2. Oh no, we have thermal runaway. The fan's gone maximum. And this one's got no output, so... Oh, do we have one failed out of six, maybe? By the way, the neat thing about these, also old school parallel port on them. You just need an adapter cable. Yeah, I'm not sure what's wrong with this one, but we've got, uh, that's going. This, the uh, CPU fan is going full pelt. So yeah, one out of six, I'm surprised that one failed. Actually, I thought uh, that would all be good. I don't know, I've reset CMOS done things and reseated the memory. Still seems to be doing that. So apart from like resetting the CPU or swapping, eh, I couldn't be bothered. Um, anyway, I'm going to call that 5 out of 6. But it doesn't mean you can't fix it. So there you go, at least 5 out of 6 straight off the bat. Probably 6 if I muck around with it, but yeah, it's, it's not surprising. They've obviously done a bulk upgrade of all the employees and they just replaced the lot. And these are still quite reasonable machines, so there you go. I, not bad, what am I going to do with them? I don't know. And a lot of people ask, how can companies throw these out? Why don't they sell them on eBay? Give them to a computer recycler. Computer recycler, I can understand selling them on eBay. Nah, it's just too much hassle for what you might get 200 bucks Australian each for these if you are lucky. You're like, you know, they don't have certificate of authenticity it's for Windows. So they're a bit of a hard sell. So you can't necessarily blame companies for throwing these out. And this happens just in this business park alone, just in my building. There are I don't know how many, what, 50 companies in my building, and every, 
Like, <laughs> yeah, and that's why I consistently get PCs in the dumpster, just from my build alone, let alone the surrounding buildings as well. Because I, by the time one company's throwing a lot out, there's another one, another one, another one. But I don't usually find six like this. The most PCs I've found in the dumpster is when somebody threw out all of their old PCs. They were stacked higher than me, several stacks of them, but they're old, all old crappy Pentiums. They weren't like, like a Dell or a HP or anything like that. So yeah, but like six of these, that's a decent score. What can I do with them? I don't know, before anyone asks, no, I can't ship you one of these things. It'll cost more to ship it because of the weight and the size than it would to uh, just go and buy one or find one locally. Sorry, but yeah, um, let us know in the comments what you think I can do with six of these. Anyway, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up and as always, discuss down below. Remember, EV Blog 2, I think it's down there somewhere. Subscribe, EV Blog 2. Catch you next time.